Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be uh, looking at a speed paint of my temperance card. This one is a temperance card from the Rider Waite Smith, which is the deck that I'm using as reference. And the temperance is usually a healing card. It denotes greater external or universal forces entering into our individual lives to right what is wrong, restore what was lost, cool what was too hot, heat up what was too cold, and temper our lives for balanced, harmonious health. Um, that was an excerpt from Holistic Tarot by Benabel Wen. Um, usually I see temperance as um, balance as tranquility, maybe tranquility before the storm, um, since it's the card that comes, it's key number 14 and 15 is the devil. Oh, sorry about the jump cut. I kept on painting and didn't realize that I hadn't been recording. So sorry about that. Um, that happens a bit in this card, so be prepared. Um, so yeah, that's the temperance card, I think. So what I did here was I kept the, the two cups and the water flowing between two cups, but she is then, uh, underneath a waterfall. That's the idea. I hope it, it comes through. Um, and she is just meditating and her tranquility and and focus is allowing her to direct the water right here i'm using gouache I've been using watercolors mainly, but sometimes I use gouache when I need to bring back the lightness. Um, watercolors are tricky because uh, I personally am more used to uh, acrylics and oils. So <clears throat> with watercolors, you need to go from light to dark instead of dark to light. So the light needs to come from the paper itself. Um, usually and that's presenting itself as a, as a challenge for me specifically um, especially with trying to depict water it's very tricky another jump cut sorry about that Here I'm just clearing out the dots that are um, in her in her face and some areas of the body. The good thing about watercolor is that it can reactivate if you put water on it. So um, it's it's a very versatile medium.
So that's how I mostly did the waterfall effect, the um, different dots. It's just sprinkling them around, sprinkling the painting around with the paintbrush and my finger. now we've come to the end of it and I'm just peeling the tape off and yeah if you have any questions about tarot cards or anything else that I that I can talk about or my process or the ideas behind um, my cards and the design let me know and I can answer them in the next one um, for now Thank you for being here and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.